we turn to what looked like gathering storm clouds for the economy. What we wanted to know from the expert today, today is this. Is America sliding back into a double-dip recession? Tomorrow we'll get the news about how many Americans are still out of work. Tonight, we know that 23% of all homes with mortgages are still underwater in this country, worth less than the loan. David Wright in Los Angeles starts with those homeowners trying to hold on. David? Good evening, Diane. You know, if there's been an economic recovery, it hasn't reached these folks yet. All of them are at risk of losing their homes. They've come here to a mortgage modification fair in a last-ditch effort to salvage them. Hundreds of people literally camped out here overnight, hoping to get a break on their mortgage. Well, Chase is here as well as Bank of America. In a fragile economy, it doesn't take much to end up here. What's your situation? What is, tell, tell me. Well, I became unemployed, so I was out of work for a while. And uh, my mortgage payment was almost $3,000 a month, so we can't afford that anymore. Donna Reese is recently divorced. Now I'm a single mom of five kids, and I don't want them to lose, you know, the house. Julie Menara's family has a lien on their property and can't even get the bank on the phone. It seems like nobody cares. It's like, you know what? Too bad, so sad. The road to recovery has certainly taken some twists and turns. Gas prices are up, along with the jobless rate. Home prices are down, along with consumer confidence. We sought out eight economists, asking them, are we nearing a double-dip recession? All of them said no, we're not there yet. But three of the eight said the economy is troubling them. Data mixed but deteriorating, said one. My concern has increased. The economic data flow has turned more negative. Uh, that's largely due to the surge in oil and food prices, declining house prices, and of course the ill effects of the Japanese quake on our manufacturing sector. We also asked our experts what, if anything, the U.S. can do to turn things around. The consensus view? There are no silver bullets. For a lot of people here, money isn't the only thing they're missing. Confidence is in short supply, too. I voted for President Obama, hoping for a change. But I still haven't seen that change, especially with this right now. You may remember, Diane, we reported from a very similar event here in Los Angeles back September. And the crowd today is pretty similar in size. And that in itself is not a hopeful sign.